attempt an onside kick. It looks like the hands team are able to recover the football. Well, yeah, I guess you got to appreciate the aggressive approach here to start this game off. You can't knock them for trying, I guess. But we'll see how much this hurts them here in the long run. Set up. It's a first down play. Here's the handoff. They'll try it off the right tackle. They've got him after a seven yard gain. So second and three. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice gain like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. Scanning the field. It's white. Looks to his left and makes the completion. Tackle made after a big game. Alabama comes up to the line quickly. You know, each receiver brings something a little bit different to the table, Chris. To me, the outside receivers usually are a little bit longer, taller guys. You get those slot receivers in the inside. Not only aiming for the end zone. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. This quarterback on fire today. That kind of play is almost impossible to defend. When the quarterback is throwing the ball with that kind of accuracy and timing and the receiver runs a route like this, good luck trying to stop it. So maybe this is a great start for this combination, this quarterback and receiver, for a big day. Now the offense will go for a two-point conversion. Play action fake. Looking to throw. And he makes the grab. They convert the two-point try and now lead by eight. Now, Chris, I don't understand all the decisions offensive coordinators make, in this case the head coach, going for two on the opening drive. But analytics these days tell you in some cases that's the right play. And they're up 8 nothing here to get the game started. Short boot caught just inside the 30. He's brought down at the 37 after a strong return. down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Looking out throwing here to start the drive. The short completion of the tight end. Butter scoops out of bounds after gaining decent yards. That's the thing with this guy. You've got the ability to flex him out. He shows his versatility and what he can do from that slot position. He could be the quarterback safety blanket. Going for a big play downfield. Oh, and it's dropped right off his hands. A chance for a big play, but a little early nerves on the part of that receiver. Offense looking to keep the drive going here. Third and short now from the 44. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Looks to the left. Pass caught. The game picks up the first down. Tackled at the 37. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Looking to throw it again. And it's incomplete as he just overthrew his receiver that time. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. To throw, it's Woodson. Quick throw to his receiver. Oh, and another incompletion. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long, but when you're so far behind the chains, when you really allow this defense to dictate things, it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing, as we saw in this play. And he's throwing for it on fourth down. Flips it to the running back, but he's got work to do. He did not get it. A crucial play by this defense. What a fourth down stop. First down here for this offense. Looking out throwing here to start the drive. Caught over the middle. It's Moore. 
You know, these kind of routes are always great for receivers who do a really good job of yards after the catch situations. And they're easy completions for the quarterback. Takes the handoff, heads to the right. Makes a nice move there. Takes it out to the 44. That's good for a first down. Chris, I don't know, but just something about that Bama uniform, when they run the football, it just feels right. It's a combination of having those big offensive linemen, a really physical approach at the line of scrimmage, and backs that are able to pick up first downs like that right there. Beautiful. The completion makes it second down. Play fake, he'll look to throw it. Fires it to the wide out. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. That's a misfire there, Chris. This passing game has got to be able to get into sync and find the rhythm. What will the call be on third and long now from the 44? And here comes a deep shot. He lost the receiver down there. He's got it for a big game. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big game for this offense. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. On first and ten, looking to throw. That's a bullet, but it's incomplete. Okay. Important second down play coming up. play action he's looking to throw grab down the middle it's Moore and he'll take it into the end zone touchdown Alabama coach you play quarterback how about appreciating a receiver that runs his routes that precisely Chris it's not just his route running it's the chemistry between the quarterback and the receiver that really I think is unique they put so much time into this in the offseason by the time they get to Saturdays, you can close your eyes and make your throw. That's exactly what we saw right there. The defense with pre-stat movement of its own. Horn for his running back. And he's got it. So the two-point try is successful, and they build the lead even further. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. A short kick. The turn starts near the 30. They get him down at the 49 yard line after an excellent return. And the Navy offense comes back out onto the field. And they hand it off to the back. Well, they test the middle there, but get nothing. First play of the quarter, offense setting up for a second down play. They'll try to run it with the option. Nowhere to go, and the ball is knocked loose. And the defense jumps on the football. Hey, Chris, we can hear the contact from that hit all the way up here in the booth. So, hey, it's easy to blame the ball carrier, but I don't know if anybody could have been able to hold on to the ball after that hit. Looking to throw it on first down. Looking for his big tight end. And it's picked off. He throws it right in the double coverage and pays for it. So a great return following the pick. They're finally able to get him down. Well, the quarterback ends up being a tad aggressive, and he ends up paying for it with a pick. I get that that might be part of his playing style, but there's a difference between being aggressive and being careless. First down. We're going to throw the football. Looking for his big tight end. Caught over the middle. It's Urasek. An explosive play. They finally got him, but at the 40. Anytime you have a sudden change like this, Chris, I love to see the idea of this quick strike. 
the defense barely really has a chance to get established and get set. Next thing you know, they're dealing with an offense that's coming right at them, trying to put points on the board. So after the incompletion, it's second down. There's some pre-snap movement back in motion. Looking downfield, it's Woodson. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Incomplete for a third straight play. Fourth and ten after three straight incompletions. Can they connect this time? No press here. The defense backing away. Testing the defense with a throw downfield. It's incomplete. The defense makes a big four down stop. Oh, my gosh. A drop pass here on this fourth down play. Everything was perfect. The execution is there. The route is nice. The ball is on the money. All he has to do is catch it, and it's a first down, and he drops it. This one could come back to Hunter. Breaks the tackle, gets into the clear. And the stop is made, but not before a huge game. Moves the ball to the 32. First down here, time for one more play before the clock stops for the two-minute warning. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. And he's got some open field ahead. It's a big return off the INT. They steal their offensive possession. Wow, what a play by this defense to come up with the interception. And a big return. They almost take it to the house. But you got to give the quarterback some credit. Yeah, he threw a pick. But he didn't give up on the play and hang his head. Instead, he makes the tackle to prevent the defense from scoring. And on the carry, he's heading left. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Makes the handoff, looking to throw. Cannot escape it. Down he goes. Well, you got to do a better job with your fake as the quarterback. The defense did not bite at all on the play action, allowing them to continue to come after the quarterback and come up with that sack. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. Touchdown, Navy. Strong game by this quarterback. Coach makes a decision to go for a two point conversion. To throw, it's Woodson. Misses the receiver, incomplete. A great job here by the defense on this conversion. Nice heads up play to prevent the two point try. I believe they're going to line up here and go for the onside kick. And the receiving team has recovered. Looks like the hands team did its job. All I can think of is maybe they saw something in the first quarter that made them think that an onside kick would work here. But they came up a bit short. Now we'll see if their defense can hold them and limit the damage. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. He picks up nine, so just short of the first down, second and one. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. And he's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. And they make the stop to get the ball carrier down. What a job at the line of scrimmage by this defense. Looked like a no-brainer, second and short, easy first down. No, deny, stop, and bring up third down. And they pick up the first on the ground. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. 
Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. It, he just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. The coach's choice to go for it does not pan out. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. Hand off to the right side. And the freshman brings him down quickly. Offense stops the clock with their second timeout to talk strategy. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Handoff here from the shotgun. Has the first down and more. And they keep the drive going. It's a first down of the 46. Navy has lined up quickly here. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And he's going to stretch the defense, taking a deep shot. And the pass is intercepted as he throws into double coverage that time. Bulldozing his way through those tackles. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. Boy, just a drive killer right there, Chris. And he didn't seem to throw that ball with much confidence. Just put it up for grabs, and defense comes down with it. They'll try the right side on the toss. Running through the tackle. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And now the defense decides to spend a timeout to regroup a bit. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. Takes the handoff again. Defense makes the tackle on the ball carrier. So no return on this one. Ball just bounces into the end zone for a touchback. And here comes the Navy offense back out on the field now. Off the play fake on first down. Quick completion to the tight end. Here's a low to bring down. Finally, a strong tackle by the quarterback gets him. Second down play coming up. This is why running the football is so important. You run the ball, and then you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and the line. And it's intercepted. He stepped in front of that bullet. They get him down after a short return, but the takeaway sets up the offense at the 43. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half, and the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. Has the first down still on the move. And he's in the clear down the right side. End zone ahead. Touchdown tied. It was a foot race and he won it. This all week I wonder if this back might get loose and come up with a big play like this. The defense had their back turned. Couldn't really see where he was. By the time they realized it, he just had too much speed and he's able to take it to the end zone. Offense is out there. Here comes a two-point conversion attempt. It's an option look. And now it's fumbled. What a decision. No turnover. Offense recovers the fumble. Well, I love the two-point play to go with the option call, but let's give credit to this defense. Good old-school assignment football. Took every option away, and then they rallied to the ball to keep him short. And he takes this from inside the five. Oh, he's got a crease here. Look out. Turns on the speed. It's a foot race. They can't catch him. Touchdown. 
Special teams making a monster play. The returner gets the touchdown, but a bunch of guys contributed that time, Kurt. Yeah, exactly right. The blocks up front really set the tone to be able to give him his chance. You don't see this happen very often in this game where a guy gets a chance to have a kickoff return for a touchdown. Everything has to be just perfect, and of course, he had the speed to be able to get it all the way to the end zone. Now a two-point conversion attempt coming up. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Gets the ball off as he's hit, but it's incomplete. Defense not fooled at all there. Nice job of stepping up and stopping that two-point conversion. Looks like they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the receiving team makes the recovery. The hands team does its job perfectly. onto the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here or the defense come up with a stop? They bring him down, but that game moves the ball all the way to the 31. Every now and then, we see a really good run. We tend to focus on what other people did in order for that run to happen, what the offensive line did. Maybe the receivers are blocking good on the edge. Sometimes the running back is pretty good, too. And on that play, he picked up a lot of yards and made that happen with good effort. Finding space at the 20. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. All right, Chris, let's face it. Most of the offensive linemen today, they're big. You know, they weigh over 300 pounds. But that doesn't mean they don't have to have agility. And the way they can get out there in front of them. Got space, looking to score. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big, positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back, or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage, and you can throw it over top of them. The tied offense line up here on first and goal. And they're trying to punch it in here. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Chris, you know me. I love to see defensive backs, and especially corners, that are willing to come up and get physical against the run game. What a job of making that play in space. No gain because of the play of that corner. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. What a great play by the defense here. Getting close to the goal line. Not only do they come up with a big stop, but they send them backwards in the process. For some reason, this offense in the red zone has sent out the punt team. Crucial play to begin the new quarter. The offense sets up with a third and goal. Spire. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Man, I'm just shocked that they ran the football here on third and goal. They must have seen something based on their film study that said, if they give us this look down close by the goal line, we got to run it. But man, bad call backfires now they get a tough decision here on fourth down so fourth down now from the three they'll go for it can the defense rise up for a big stop and now the offense will call a timeout here Something they didn't like about what they saw there. Wanting to make an adjustment before this critical down. Ready. So what's the play call? It's fourth and goal from the three. And the motion by the back now forces the defense to adjust. 
He's got it right near the end zone. And he's in. Touchdown, Bama. That's another strike for this quarterback. Bro. He is having himself a day. This guy's just having one of those days you dream about against his secondary. But let's also give credit to the wide receivers doing a nice job of getting open and the big fellas up front for giving him enough time to throw. Now the try for the two-point conversion. Cobra. Back in motion now. And he stopped short. The two-point try fails. They can't build on their lead here. Now they get set to kick it away. He'll return it from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Navy offense will take over first and 10. And the Navy offense goes back out onto the field. This drive is important. Last one had an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. Looking for the wideout. He's picked for a third time tonight. Going the other way. Can they stop him? And that's a solid return after the interception. I just don't think there's anything else you can do as a play caller. You've got to be able to throw the ball downfield. You just got to hope that your quarterback and receivers can execute when the defense knows it's coming. Here the interception cost them. Fresh set it down to the offense. First down. They're going to run the option. space looking for the end zone here. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. To stretch the lead, the route is on. Well, no surprise from offense this good. Short field, quick touchdown. Yeah, you get into the red zone, though, there's a tendency to want to get conservative. I love that the offensive coordinator and the quarterback kept attacking until they came away with seven points.